Hey everybody, welcome back. I must first address something. Um, I know I said to save the bolts here, but uh, I'm going to reload it anyways. Uh, if you hear a small buzzing noise while I'm speaking, and not while I'm and not during the silent parts, I apologize. Because I have uh, stuff set up. There's a small electrical buzz with my setup, and I, I have too many things to really worry about that. And I turn off my AC just for you guys to hopefully help that out. So I'm going to try not to uh, be bad at this. Because pause if you need to, by the way, for this. But um, yeah, the AC is off. And it's going to get really hot out. It's like 90 something degrees Fahrenheit here. And it's really bad. That's pretty, pretty bad. So I apologize for that. But I'll try. No. To have my gameplay suffer because of that. But first. What's the news on our friend Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that was all about. So, this area... There's a guy right over there where he can actually snipe, and I do have plenty of sniper rifle ammo after I have 35 sh 31 shots, rather. And Thermo also allows you to took at him. It's one of those guys with the spikes things in him. Yeah, suck it. That also alerts the horde, but also frees up that one uh, slot there I have, so. Yeah. I haven't been recording as much as I would like to the past while. Life stuff and... Uh, editing problems, mainly. But, uh, here's some of this. I'm going to try to get some extra stuff on the side. I'm going to try to make make this as ambiguous as possible, because, you know, you know, timing and stuff, people watching this bunch stuff the road. But, um, I'm going to try to uh, put some random stuff up from time to time. Stuff that I'm just playing games with a friend, and I just, I just happen to uh, be able to record it, so I'll just record it and stuff. Whoa, that was interesting. I don't know... Oh, that's slam. Oh, I just dodged that. I don't know if this gun has a critical headshot bonus to it. I don't think so. I, I can't remember. I, I can never remember. I, I know the special for this gun isn't that, and, well, for one, I haven't got the special. Get out of there! I'm doing significantly worse here than I did the first time I went through this area. I would rather get hit a couple times in this area than die a couple times in the next area. In which, by the way, I must mention... What? Oh, there's a bow guy up there. So that's where that one bow guy was. All this time, I never knew. Now I do, and knowing it's half the battle. G.I. Joe! No plaga, please. It's always such a disappointment when they plug up. Come on down! The steam! This area, ooh, shield guy. This area never looks... It, some of these later areas with all the steam and stuff just doesn't quite look right. Do it! Nice. There's a crossbow guy up here that I will blow his face open. Very nice. This shotgun's so good, man. That looks like a puzzle. And that looks like an enemy. Wasted a shot there, but... Pushed him away. Jeez. Uh, I'm going to use a first aid spray, because... I'd rather use those than the other herbs, because I can find green herbs with those. Although, I could buy those with... Regular green herbs. Well, not green herbs, uh, yellow herbs, I mean. Yeah, but that thing right there looks like some kind of puzzle thing. Whatever. Like, activate the puzzle to get through the steam or something. Whatever. 
Uh, this is a side room in this area. You might want to go through here. There's a couple delicious extras. Flash grenade and a bit of cash. And as we all know, cash is really important. Both in life and the video game. Uh, ah, the rest of this game, I know it, but I don't at the same time. What's through here? Oh, no, it's this part. Okay. You guys may see a cut here. Actually, you guys may see a couple cuts here. Because chances are I will die. And, uh, I will cut out my deaths and try to piece this next bit together as best I can. So, yeah, enjoy this. It comes up. Time, comrade. Krauser. I died in the crash two years ago. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got John Quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. <laughs> Sadler's trusted me. Like you, I'm American. You got her involved just for that? in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. Enjoy the reunion with your old friend. As a matter of fact, I did. Wonderful. I wouldn't want my special guests on the island feeling unattended. Guess I'm supposed to thank you, right? Ah, I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't I introduce you to it? It should keep you busy. Can't remember the name, huh? A senior moment, perhaps. Oh, oh. <laughs> Enjoy the fun. Okay, so... I died once there. You, you probably noticed a strange cut in the middle of the scene. I died once at the end, because I didn't... Jam the keys, the buttons hard enough. So that's balls. But also, a cool thing about that scene. See uh, Leon Scar there? Yep, he gets that for the rest of the game. And also, another odd thing. When he threw his knife at uh, his old friend there, and it flew away, how did he get it back? Because looking at his person, he doesn't. It 
never looks like... And I'm going by the scenes, of course. It never looked like he had a second knife on him. So, I'm not sure... Wh and that knife was still about that size, so I don't know where you got it. Now, you guys like the first Resident Evil movie? I do. I think it's the only good of the uh, the live-action Resident Evil movies. Yeah, and that's, that's a whole other video, but this is the laser. Lasers. Oh, jeez, get away from that. You have to walk through these in a certain pattern. Oh, like that. And then dodge through a couple of them. And since Leon's such a badass... Oh, these are defective. I guess I could just walk... Oh, nope. No, you can't. Oh, whoosh. Do cool little Matrix dodges. Phew. That was tough. I guess that's it. Just walk through the door, press the button. But wait. That's not all, folks. Just wait for your inevitable action flippy flip scene. And that, I believe, is the end. Yep. And that's the end of that. Now, let me get this real fast. Nice treasure. Remember this? Yeah, this is a... Uh, Senor... Krauser? No. This is Salazar's uh, th throne. As an emerald, and also... Question mark? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. There's no time for resting. Then why'd you pose like that, Leon? So, in case you're confused on what to do, well, walk back here. Ta-da! Okay. Thought there was a cutscene there. But I guess... Not. I pa... Oh, God, I don't, even, I don't even like this next area. I really don't like this next area, you guys. Like, I really, like, don't like this next area. So, ah. Uh, wish I had a map for it. Should have got a map up before I started recording. Dangus. Oh, another Luis's memos. It was a long one. Blah, blah, blah. Science and stuff. Oh, look at me. I'm Luis. I'm a big nerd. I wrote all this stuff about the Plagas, because I'm, I'm not a good guy. I'm working with the bad guy. But really, I'm a good guy, because I gave that cool Leon guy some pills and stuff. And then I got butt-raped by Salazar. And Sadler. And probably Krauser as well. By the way, Red Urban here. Always nice. It's basically a free full heal, because... Bam. So, yeah, his uh, merchant here. That's a uh, chat with him. And a save point, which I highly, highly suggest saving. Let's see what, what he's got. Here? Red Knight upgrade. Nice. Broken Butterfly upgrade. That is what I want because it upgrades the firepower. Let's see if there is something else I want now. Is that really? Oh, that's the last upgrade for that. Nice. I want to upgrade the Broken Butterfly because there is sort of something coming up that you kind of want it for. Now I'm going to sell all my spare gems. That's unfortunately it. I don't think there's anything else I can sell. I have grenades. I might as well keep those. So, Broken Butterfly. Fully upgrade that for another 4 damage. That's basically the beginning shotgun in the game. There you go. 28 firepower. The only upgrade it doesn't have is two extra bullets, but that's past the upgrades for magnums. You want to save those for when you have no magnum ammo. And I only use like three bullets, so it's kind of a waste. Now, I suggest saving here, because the next thing that happens is a bit of a bother. Gotta say, I, uh, you're going to see me run around this next area. Hopefully you don't see me die in this next area. That will be embarrassing. But, hey, what's this? It's a yellow herb. You might want to get that. Now I'm going to combine that with a green herb. I like, actually, I think I like to get a, a green-yellow combination rather than a full green-yellow-red combination. Because, you know, green-yellow-red, you might as well wait until you're almost dead to use it. But with this, if you get, like, hit, if you get, like, half health or hit once, you can just pop that. 
get the bonus and walk away with uh, full health. Or almost full health. By the way, cutscene time. Remember it. This is it. Now you could shoot it a few times with a sh with the well, really anything, honestly. But oh, that sparks. That smarts. Don't have time to switch. Let's rock and roll. Uh, there's three of these containers, each holding two of those switches, which you need to activate. Two. Uh, you need to activate the two switches to move along. Now, I'm using some of my ammo on him, which is probably not advised, especially to use a shotgun for that, but I don't care, because I'm... Ooh! Yeah, you want to dodge his attacks as well, because obviously dodge. Uh, first of all, this gun has a lot of ammo. There's some right here, actually. And second of all, uh, I don't remember too much of the rest of the game that really... Uh, kind of requires a shotgun. Now, once you activate both of those switches on each of these panels, you have a timer and then you have to run. Now, that's the same for all these panels, all, all these uh, containers. And you get a, you get a, you get a few moments to relax. And I'm going to take those few moments to shoot that. Uh, I can't shoot that like can I? It's on that side. Can I? Yeah, I think I can go up here and check. Can I shoot that light from here? Yes, I can. Yeah, there's lights there you need to shoot, which raises, uh... Well, those things. And, uh... You, you get a few moments from, uh... It, which I think it's... It is called U3. Don't really quote, quote me on that, but... Whoa, did that texture just load? As I walk forward, that's weird. Whoa! Now, I, yeah, I know it's a bit of a waste, but that really buys you some, uh, really handy time. I should have shot that while I was busy. Oh, I got it out of the way. Yeah. Alright, so, oh, ooh. I think it's time for me to use, uh, that combination herb. That should be good. That's probably not good. I'm just going to pop another herb. I hate to do it, but, eh, it needs to be done sometimes. He will disappear from time to time on his own. So, must be another one. You should, ooh. Usually, the uh, safer and less stress-free way is to uh, find both the panels, whether through a guide or otherwise or whatnot. And then, uh, yeah, the shotgun's actually really good because spread damage. But, uh, usually go for the switch. Uh, there's, there's usually... Oh! Crap. There's usually two switches. And, uh... Well, there, there's pretty much... Yeah, there is always two switches, but... One of the switches is usually closer. Like, that one right there I just activated is, like, almost a beeline to the door. So, try to get that one first, if you can. This is easier. There's... Nothing around. Take my time to reload my eight shots. Always helps, though. There's no light. There, you can see a light on the other side, though. But I can't get through it. Unfortunately, I have to activate this switch first. Which activates that. That's supposed to have light in there. Why is that room dark? Also, by the way, this isn't my final phase. This is, though. Look at that vampire mouth. Back! Back, you fiend. Get out of there, Leon. In here isn't as safe as you might think, because he will just kind of slash through the top to 
try to get you. Now this... A lot of the textures are loading all of a sudden for some reason. For no reason. Now this is a bit stressful for me because I'm doing this live, by the way, so... Yeah. So you need to go get that light. Swing around here, I believe. And activate this button. This butt on. Yeah. For some reason, he hasn't showed his ugly mug yet. I don't know why. He usually doesn't wait. And here we go. But, you need to actually jump onto that thing. Yeah, it's weird how that just happens to fall down like that. Whoa, that was close. I can talk during this because there's no, like, no talking during this cutscene here, so whatever. Alright, so, this is by definition a boss fountain. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to do that. A uh, boss fountain. Basically, a boss fountain is... I hate to spoil it, but yeah, there's a boss fight, like, right in a second. Uh, a, bo a boss fountain, by the way, is like piles of weapons, or in this case, since it's a shooter, uh, ammo, piles of ammo, and some health. It's kind of like, here you go, you, you might want to use these in your struggles. I got TMP ammo. I got 75 TMP ammo. I'm going to quickly reload that, actually. Now, mainly just to get that out of there. Look, I have 15 extra bullets for my Magnum. Can you guess what weapon I'm going to use? Oh, no. So, now we have to fight him. The easiest way to kind of cheese the boss, just shoot him with a magnum. Like seriously, it's a boss fight. You play, that's that's pretty much what the magnum is for in these games. It's the boss fight. Now, yeah, it took about eight shots for me as a fully upgraded. Oh, nope. I think he's just going into second phase. Yikes! Now there are barrels around and some treasures and stuff that you can use. I'm going to take this time to reload the magnum. I'd rather not, but, eh. Kind of want an easier fight. Oh! It also comes up from the ground sometimes. Like that. This is not good. That's not good. Oh, good thing I can squeeze through him. Squeeze through him. I mean, squeeze past him. Get that. Can I close this? Yes, but he is not in there. So, run away. I could probably take one more hit before I die. I don't know if he has any weak spots, but I'm just going to shoot him until he dies. And I hope I'm not wasting uh, ammo. Because that would actually be quite disappointing for me. Yeah! Yeah! Take that scumbag. Whoa, look at that frame drop. Sorry about that. That was the game completely. 50,000 pesetos. Potatoes. 50,000 potatoes. Uh, yeah, you don't really need a rocket launcher for that, so.